Hello everybody, uh, today we're just going to learn about R language. Well, R language is one of the most popular language for machine learning and for mathematical stuff. So if you want to do some mathematical stuff and you want to do some machine learning, so people really recommend R. So you would be quite uh, fascinated that why I'm using Vuel Studio or why I have open Vuel Studio when I'm talking about R. So the good news is that uh, Microsoft has launched R tools for Visual Studio under Friend DA. What's Friend NDA? Basically, it's between the friends. So if you want to uh, request your uh, copy of R tools for Visual Studio, you just need to go to this link and just ask them or email them to send send you a copy of our tools for Visual Studio and they would send you a link and invite with that uh, which you can use to just get the tools for R. So for example if you just go here you can see the R tools in which I have plots, windows, uh, R interactive window, variable explorer, history, plots and help and RSTV documentation samples and all of the stuff. And Microsoft R products, editor options, options, and data science settings. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new project, and this uh, stuff is for the beginners, basically, who didn't have even any idea about the R language. So we would start from the very basics. So from here, what I would simply do is that I would simply create our project. Let's name it Learning R language and just source control let's close this down go to solution explorer r script and here is the r interactive window <coughs> i will just pin it and right now whatever we are just going to do in the first module of our video series we're just going to do that in the interactive window so first of all we are just going to learn about expressions so what expressions are expressions are basically i would say in a very simple term they are they might be a sentence they might be a word they might be a multiplication of two numbers addition of two numbers or anything for example the very simple expression would be one plus one which returns you two and for example I need to just type a name here. I will simply say Saad Mahmood. Press enter so it will return the name. So these are the expressions. And one of the expressions that could be 6 into 7, that's 42. So these are the basic expressions in our language. With it, it's also good to learn about some logical values. What are the logical values? The logical values are basically that returns true or false. In major programming languages, we call that booleans. So boolean values or logical values, they're almost the same. For example, it's just uh, very close to your real life. For example, if someone asks you that is four is greater than three, so you return yes, so it says true. And uh, let's try something else. For example, 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. So now remember, whenever you are just uh, you're having a conditional statement, you have to use a double equal sign. And it will return false. Now 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. It isn't 5. You can also uh, use a shorthand that is T and F for true and false, respectively. So, for example, if we say T is equal to true you say it's true so these are the shorthands for the logical values uh, in the next video we're just going to talk about variables uh, functions and help